una vez encontré una mochila con una muñequita de, esa, de madera y unas pulseras, traía cosas de, de, de una niña, libretas, como que me dio, me dio entender. Entiendo que, que, que a poco la mochila era hasta de una niña que, que ya estaba aquí en la escuela y tuvo que cruzar por el río porque no tenía papeles. En April 2011, Armando Castellano, director and French horn player of Quinteto Latino, and Berkeley-based composer Guillermo Galindo traveled together to Laredo, Texas. They explored the grounds of a vast ranch bordered to the south by the Rio Grande. The area is well known as a place where many migrants attempt to cross the border from Mexico into the U.S., and the landscape is strewn with the personal items they lose or are forced to leave behind. Yet there's nobody there, but you see the remnants of the hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people who have crossed there. We would nearly get lost. I couldn't imagine traveling for days and days across this amazing terrain, amazing dry, really hot terrain, and the incredible danger of that. It's striking and profound, and just shows me how desperate someone would need to be to make that such a journey. Guillermo carefully documented all the items they came across and selected some with significant sonic potential and emotional resonance to ship back to the Bay Area. Composer Guillermo Galindo is going to make those into instruments and he's going to write a piece for those found objects as instruments and wind quintet. Guillermo's work as a composer regularly incorporates invented instruments, notable for what he considers the totemic spiritual qualities of the materials used. These objects are treated as receptacles containing the struggles and dreams of the unknown migrants who carry them. These objects that we found hold the untold story stories of real people, actual human beings, desperate for a better life. When I found the objects, I was thinking about the journey that my ancestors had made across the border and what that must have been like for them, how their journey to come to the United States, what a profound impact it's had on the lives of my parents, my family, and my children. By turning these objects into musical instruments, the artist hoped to give them a voice so that the stories they contain do not remain untold. I founded Quinteto Latino eight years ago with the mission to perform classical and contemporary music by Latin American composers. And this is the first time Quinteto Latino as an organization and as a chamber ensemble is going to make a statement and pose a question to our audience about Latino issues here in the United States. This piece and the performance of this piece is going to be more than just a sit-down concert. We want the audience to go through a transformation on this subject. We want them to think about it in a new way and experience it in a new way. For me, it's transformative and I hope that for the audience, it's the same.